This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by GoToAssist. I'm going to show you guys how to actually back up your Gmail account because, well, you really never know what's going to happen out there. There could be the apocalypse, Gmail's entire room of servers, wherever they have them, could all go down and burn in a huge fire. You never really know. So, I'm going to back up all of my information, whether it's archived, in the inbox, starred and labeled, all that good stuff, back onto my hard drive just so I can have it on my encrypted physical machine. Oh, I'm so sorry, Greg. I didn't mean to drop you like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. It's very simple to do this in Ubuntu. Um, I'm using the regular Ubuntu Linux. You can also do this in any other Linux distro, though it may be, you may have to do a workaround in the terminal. Uh, this version is available in the Ubuntu Software Center, and it is called GetMail. So GetMail is the download that you need. You just go into the Ubuntu Software Center and you install it. And next up, you do a little bit of information in the terminal. So I'm going to pull up Control-Alt-Delete from my terminal. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it pretty well. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. All right, so the first thing you need to type in is make directory, mkdir, tac m, 0700 home backslash dot get mail. So it's going to go ahead and tell me that the file already exists because I did do this in the past. But basically what you're doing right now is making a directory for the Gmail inbox file, which is called mbox. And then tacm0700 changes the permissions. The seven gives you read, write, and execute for the owner. And the zeros give no permissions for the group or other users. Next up, the second command you're going to put on sets up the directory for the mbox file to store your inbox messages. And this is a really simple one. You just mkdir tacm0700. And home backslash. And this time I'm typing in Gmail archive. Again, it's going to go ahead and already tell me that the file already exists, but it should tell you that a new directory has been created for your use. Now the third command. This one is also very easy. It creates the .mbox file in the Gmail backup directory. So you're going to type in touch backslash Gmail archive, backslash Gmail, backup, dot mbox. Hit enter, and it has been created. Now, really simple thing to keep in mind, touch creates new files very, very easily. All you have to type is touch the directory and whatever you want your file to be called. I love that command. It's super easy. Now, in gedit, you want to create a brand new file, and you want to tell it tell GetMail to get your Gmail mail through this file. Now, since it's somewhat long, I'm just going to go to the Directionary website. This is called howtogeek.com. It's a very, very useful website with really easy instructions to do pretty much anything. I'm just going to copy it straight from here, put that into GetMail, or gedit, excuse me. Now on this one, there's a couple of different things that you want to change. First off is the username. Obviously, if you leave it as your name at gmail.com, it's not going to get anything from your personal email because that's an example. So I'm going to change this to the Hack5 test account and then change my password. Keep in mind this password is in clear text. So this is just a example password that I'm using for this example. Also, if you chose to change the directory when you created the directory or the name of the inbox file, you'll also need to change that there as well. And then you'll just go up here to save as. And up here at the top, you're going to change the name to .getmail backslash getmailrc. So this is going to put the new getmailrc file into your getmail directory. Press save. And it's going to tell me it already exists, but 
Just hit save and then close out of there and you're done with that. Now the next part, also very simple, you're going to go into your terminal and run getmail. To do that, all you have to do is type in getmail. And it's going to take a few minutes, especially if you have a really, really big inbox or a lot of stuff in your archive. Just let it continue to run until it goes back to your regular command line where it gives you your name next to your home. Now, once this is done, it should have backed up everything that you wanted it to. So let's go ahead and look into my directory and make sure that we have that file. Let's go in here, Gmail archive, and there it is, gmailbackup.mbox. Now, if I click in here, you're going to see a whole slew of information. If I go down to the bottom where it shows my newest ones first, I'll see a couple of public keys. Ha, huh, interesting. And there's another public key. Scroll a little bit farther up. Here we see one of the emails that I sent yesterday and just left in my inbox. This is a test. Hey you, this is a test of labels. So you can see that you can also save labels as well if you want to. You can scroll up a little bit farther and we can see the first couple of support emails whenever you create a new email in Gmail. So everything gets backed up that you want to. Now, new inbox files can be saved for use in Thunderbird and Outlook, all those different places. Or you can also create a shell script with a timed cron job to enhance your efficiency and automatically download all the new emails at, you know, kind of timed intervals whenever you want them to. If it does stop before it's finished, with, which it probably will if you've been using your email for several years and you have tons of stuff installed in it, just restart start with the same get mail command to run it again, and it'll start off wherever it left off. Also, Gmail labels are supposed to be a part of the .mbox download. I had trouble with my labels, but that might just because be because of the new version. It could just be a new bug. Also, archived messages are downloaded as well. That's no problem. You can just hit Control F in your inbox file and find your archived messages. And deleted messages are not backed up. That's kind of a given. I also checked out something interesting with his encrypted ones at the end of his segment where we sent each other our public keys. And you can see down here his begin message, this is his public key in ciphertext. Obviously, it hasn't been unencrypted to you know regular plain text, and that's due to the fact that the plugin that we were using was specifically just a plugin. It's, it doesn't go into your .mbox file as well. So keep that in mind if you have any kind of encrypted information in your inbox. It's not going to be unencrypted with you know whatever plugin you use. Now, I also use two-factor authentication and in this case, you want to use an app-specific password because your password is saved in clear text. Now, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm definitely going to back up all my stuff just to, you know, have an extra version of it somewhere. Kind of helps. Coming up soon, we're going to have your questions. But first, we're going to take a quick break. I am really thankful to have worked as a systems administrator for 10 years back in Virginia. I learned so much on the job, you guys know how it is. It's always something new, it's always challenging, issues pop up all of the time and it keeps you on your toes. It's sometimes stressful but ultimately rewarding and one of the things that I'm super happy that I had in my tool belt is GoToAssist by Citrix and this tool has been getting better and better over the years. Let me tell you, the latest version has GoToAssist monitoring which helps you identify those issues before they become that huge headache. And it's got a customizable dashboard so you can see all of your networks, your servers, all the performance, and you get these proactive alerts so you're the first one to find out about the thing that went down. Because trust me, you don't want your manager calling you up and that being your first knowing of the thing that went down because that's no good. And go to assist remote support. Now lets you provide uh, support to unattended machines, any PC, Mac, or mobile device from anywhere, anytime, and is all tied together with the go to assist service desk, which, uh, which lets you track all of these issues, all from one simple cloud-based tool set. So sign up for your special 30-day free trial today. Visit gotoassist.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code HACK5. That's gotoassist.com promo code HAK5.